For decades, women were leaders in computer science, but then, in 1984, their representation in the field dropped dramatically, in a way unseen in any other scientific or technical field. What's happened? You will discover it in the next two minutes. And if you don't know me yet, my name is Marilda, and I'm looking for women and feminist men who want to change things for the better. So please subscribe and leave your comments below to support this channel and this movement. Now, Kathleen Kenney and Steve Henn help us understand how gender stereotypes, especially when it comes to children's stories and marketing, can have massive effects. In this video, How to Raise Feminist Sons, I mention the effect of gender stereotypes on toys and why it is dangerous. So watch it to learn more. So Kenney and Han determined that in the early 80s, the narrative first emerged that computers were for boys. The first personal computers were basically toys, and they were marketed almost exclusively to boys. See? Gender stereotypes and marketing, boom! Computer geek culture also began to emerge during this period, and TV shows, movies, and video games all said and confirmed that computers were tools for boys. In 1984, the first generation of students who could have had a home computer entered college. And this is the key. Research found parents were much more likely to buy computers for boys than girls and many boys have experienced programming before entering college. As a result, many young women discovered that they were already behind their male friends from day one. They were often discouraged by parents and teachers, so they left computer science programs and set up. Awful, eh? Even more interesting is that before selling the home computer as a boy device, women were very active in the field and saw a sharp increase in their numbers between 1970 and 1984. End of the 70s, beginning of the 80s, the female representation in this field was very high. 37% of computer science degrees were awarded to women. By 2011, according to the Computing Research Association, that number fell to 12%. 30%, 12%. <laughs> A study in 2016 by the Institution for Engineering and Technology found that toys with technology, science, or math focus are still three times more likely to be targeted at boys than girls even today. As you see, we definitely need to work on this. So, dear parents out there, do not fall in the trap of toys promoted according to gender and offer your child different options so they can choose freely. Leave your comments below, tell me your experience and please subscribe and hit the notification bell to watch more videos like this. Ciao!